Look at me, I'm planning a TBR. I have no idea how this is gonna go. But stick around to find out what's on it. Hello readers. As many of you might already know, I'm a bit of a mood reader and so sticking to a TBR tends to be rather difficult. However, I have goals and reviews and things that I wanna meet in August, so I'm going to attempt an actual TBR. Since we're already through the first week of August, I have actually finished a couple of books on my TBR. The first being Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. It is an adult horror, gothic horror book set in 1950s Mexico when um, Noemi finds out that her cousin, who's married a white man that lives in um, on, a, an, on an estate, um, they receive a letter from her cousin that just didn't sound good. It sounded like she was having some issues. Um, she was, they were afraid that she wasn't making too much sense mentally and that perhaps she was going to need to see someone. So uh, Noemi's dad sent her to go visit her cousin to make sure everything was okay and to help her get help if needed. When she gets there, it's raining. It's a very creepy house. There's a lot of things going on. There are actually a lot of content warnings for this book. There's incest, there's cannibalism, there is psychedelics, there is assault, there is violence, there is um, eugenics. There's just tons of stuff in this book. I would look up a detailed review before you jump into it. And I'm, I'm not trying to review it right here, though I did finish it. I'm just saying I had it on my August TBR and I got to it. The next book on my August TBR was Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston and this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling in the Once Upon a Con series. It just released and so that's why I wanted to make sure to finish it this month and I'll probably be posting a review about that sometime soon so be on the lookout for that. The next book I'd like to read this month is Lobizona by Romina Garber, and that also released, I believe, August 4th. Lobizona is an own voices book that includes Argentinian culture, but also brujas and werewolves. The main character is on the run and is being chased by her father's Argentine crime family. Um, so immigration and deportation also play a role in this book. And it's something that's been on my list for quite some time. I'm so glad that it's officially out. I did receive an arc for it. So thank you to Wednesday Books. And I'm hoping to finish that next. The next book I want to make sure that I get to is The Activist by Rainer Link. The Activist is political fiction and it follows four young political activists. And sometimes the book actually says things way better than I could ever, so I'm just gonna read you what it says here. The activists confront the turmoil in America with satire, bits of magic, drumming, art, rhyming, and political theater. Similar to the Parkland activists and the likes of Greta Thunberg, the novel's protagonists are passionate about the future and take action. If you want political change, you will find this novel stimulating, and amusing. The next book I'll be reading is with the Booktube Chicks book club and for August we're reading You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. This is young adult fiction and again I'm gonna go ahead and read you the summary. So the story follows Liz Lighty who hatches a plan to leave the small rich prom obsessed west midwestern town that she lives in because she feels too black, too poor, too awkward to live her best life there. It's also described as Becky Albertalli meets Jenny Han in a smart, hilarious, black girl magic, own voices rom-com. I am ready. The next book I'll be reading is with the Libri Labra Book Club, and it is The Three-Body Problem by Xixin Liu. This book was nominated by Tom Brennan, who is a book club VIP member. And I know that it is science fiction. I'm a little concerned that it might be too science-y for me, but I'm excited to read it. I know it's also very political. It takes place in China. And it says, set against the backdrop of China's cultural revolution, a secret military project sends signals into space in an attempt to make contact with aliens and they succeed. An alien civilization on the brink of destruction captures the signal and plans to invade Earth. Now on Earth, different camps start forming, planning to either welcome the superior beings and help them take over the world, seen as corrupt, or 
to fight against the invasion. The result is a science fiction masterpiece of enormous scope and vision. I think uh, regardless of whether or not I struggle with it, it's going to make for some excellent discussion. So if you have a chance and you've been meaning to pick up the three body problem, I would love for you to join us. We'll be discussing that closer to the end of the month. If you follow Libri Labra on Twitter, um, I will at some point let you know when our discussion is going to be. The next two books I'm kind of worried I may not get to because I have a lot on my plate. I'm not even going to mention some of the books that came in for me from the library because I just I don't think I can do it. I may swap some out. We'll see what happens. But I blame India from Life's a Page Turner for the next two. She is doing a read along for A Court of Thorn and A Court, a court and Rose. She is doing a read along for Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I have read this first book before, but really I don't think I fully processed it and I never moved on through the series. So when she mentioned that she was going to do this read along, I said I would jump on. So. I haven't started reading any of that yet, but I want to still be able to do it. So we'll see what happens. The next book is Desperate Measures by Katie Robert, and it's an erotic contemporary fiction retelling of a relationship between Jafar and Jasmine. Being demisexual, I often prefer to see um, emotional connection between characters before kind of jumping into the Mattress Mambo, but I've been hearing so much about this one. Um, I think it will be interesting to see how I feel about it, but I am excited to read it as well. So those are the books I'm hoping to get through in the month of August. If you've already established your TBR, let me know what some of the books are that you have on your list. You can do that in the comments below. Editing Desiree here, and I just want to take a minute to give a quick comment or love shout out to Margaret Pernard for being the first person to comment on my July wrap up. Thank you, Margaret. Um, it's nice having you around and you have some very interesting recommendations, so I hope you keep making them. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.